Now I've never had a problem with mice in the whole 10 years I've been living in this house, so it was to my surprise when I opened this cupboard door two mornings ago to find my dishwasher tablets all torn open, some dishwasher liquids all torn open, and my dishwasher salt all torn open. There were bits everywhere in there, and then when I looked closer, I noticed the mouse poo and the mouse wee. So I thought before he migrates over the other side of the kitchen and starts eating my cereal, I gotta do something. So as always, I did a bit of research, I read some reviews, and I found this product. And this is the Pest Stop Shore Set Mouse Trap. Now these came in a pack of two, I bought them from Tool Station, and they were £6.30. However, these are available in Screwfix, other DIY stores, and Amazon. And if you're interested in this product, I'll put a link to this in the description section below. You put your bait in this little pot on the front, and to set this trap, you just slide it into place you push on the back of it with your fingers out of the danger zone and it sets that simple when you finally catch a mouse you just release the trap holding the same part and the mouse falls out and there's a nice little set of instructions inside that suggest either peanut butter or chocolate so my bait of choice is going to be Cadbury's chocolate spread because it's what I got available who wouldn't want a bit of that in the morning so now using my Cadbury's chocolate spread and a knife I just bait up the traps and I slide one into the corner of the cupboard click it into place and then if you look over here at the back, I've set another one there. I've put them against the edge of the cupboards because this is where they suggest that the mice tend to run is against the wall. I've now put everything in the cupboard back in place so not to make it look too different to the night before. And hopefully we'll trick the mouse and we'll see what we get in the morning. So it's the first morning after setting these traps. I did have a sneaky peek last night. There was nothing there. I went to bed. I've got up this morning. Let's take a look. Right, well the trap's moved and uh, it's facing up right at the back, so I'm assuming it's been set off, but it's a bit dark and I can't really see anything. And there's another one over here as well. Right, okay. That trap is still as it was, so that hasn't gone off. This one has gone off. And before we take a look at this, I must point out to anyone that's squeamish or doesn't want to see this, there is a dead mouse in this trap. So I'm going to take a closer look now, so please look away for a few minutes if you don't want to see it. So that you can see exactly how this trap has worked, I'm going to put the torch on and leave everything in situ, just so we can give a good indication as to how effective it is. Now I don't know if you can quite see that, I'm going to move a few items now. I'm on the tripod there, and the mouse is right there at the back, I'm just going to zoom in. And there you go, you can see him upside down in that trap. And he's obviously gone into that to get the food, and that has taken him straight away and has clamped his whole body down. So hopefully it was a nice, quick, clean kill, relatively humane, or as humane as it can be for killing an animal. So there he is, and you can see that has clamped right down on his neck, and that would have broken his neck straight away. Obviously this mouse has been killed without using any poison, so rather than putting him in the bin, I'm going to stick him in the hedge, that way a bird or a cat can safely eat him, and have a nice tasty snack. The way this is meant to work is you turn it upside down like that, you release, and out comes the mouse. And as you can see there, I didn't have to touch it at all like the old fashioned ones, there's no risk of me catching my fingers in there, bleeding everywhere, so... I would say these are pretty much a win-win, and therefore, I can highly recommend them. So now I'm gonna give it a quick clean outside, a bit of bleach, a bit of water, I'll reset the trap, get it back in the cupboard, just in case there's any more lurking around tonight. Now if you've got a mouse problem, then hopefully this video has helped you out. And if it has helped you out, then can you please give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and press that bell icon for regular notifications. I've been pouts around the house. Ta-ta, farewell.